this work um, came from um, me observing my grandmother for years. And one fine morning, it was just an idea to photograph her hands because her hands were completely um, kind of became one with the material and the material became one with her hands. She had this, she had this continuous movement. It was, it was like I was, I was seeing the in-between energies which were, which were surrounding her hands. My grandmother has been a very important um, influence. She's, uh, she's been everything to me in my life and um, I've grown up with her. It's been, a, it's, it's been a journey with her where she's, where she's been working with textiles and uh, with yarns and with threads all her life. For me, it, it, was, it was like part of growing up in that environment. Um, I work with uh, fibers, textiles, um, which are back in my country, uh, which the craftsmen and weavers have been working for years. The techniques I imbibe are um, kind of, um, they're invented by us, so they don't exist in, in like history. And uh, it's, um, it's not about the textile or it's not about, it's about the language, it's about an abstract language and trying to communicate through the works. Me uh, wanting to search within the answers which I never um, could resolve in day-to-day -day living uh, my life. So it was more about me wanting to go within, wanting to ask questions about living, about life, emotions, feelings, the physicality, the tactility of the materials, which, which we are just not aware, which we've lost uh, in our day-to-day -day livings. So yes, there is. Um, so, so the process of me doing these uh, these works, which made me search. Um, you know, different ways which made me engage with, with textiles in a very different approach.